Alright guys, it is finally time for the first trailer for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. We got a teaser trailer not too long ago and that thing looked amazing. I cannot wait to see the first full trailer. I've got my Spider-Verse t-shirt on. I am ready to rock. This movie is in my top three most anticipated movies for 2023. I think it's going to be an amazing sequel and I just can't wait till that day where I'm sitting in the theater and it's about to start. I think it's going to be a fantastic movie and a great sequel. And quickly before we hit play on the trailer, I want to throw some predictions at you of what we might see in this first trailer. I think we're going to get a lot of Miguel O'Hara's 2099 Spider-Man. I think we're going to get a bit of the spot, which is the villain of this movie. And I think at the end of the trailer, it's going to end with a big reveal for a Spider-Man variant. That's what's going to make people talk about this trailer. Like imagine Insomniac Spider-Man just swings through and you see him in animated form. That would break the internet and everybody would be talking about this trailer. There's also a rumor that we might be seeing a Spider-Cop variant variant, which if you guys have played the Marvel Spider-Man game, you know that he refers to himself as Spider-Cop. So imagine he comes face to face with an actual Spider-Man that goes by Spider-Cop and he just looks at him and he's like, oh wow, you're real. That would be amazing. And there's also some rumors that Tom Holland is going to be making a cameo appearance in this movie too. So just imagine you see him in animated form right at the end of the trailer. It is going to get a lot of people talking about this movie. But anyways, guys, that is my predictions as to what we might see in the first trailer for Spider-Man. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Let's go ahead and watch the trailer. New trailer starts now. I'm so ready. Let's go. Okay, Miles just chilling. I can hear you being quiet. Hope I didn't ice your game, man. No one my age says those words in that order. <laughs> it's just hard to see my little man not being my little boy all the time. Yeah. You know, for years I've been taking care of this little. This is not how I was expecting the trailer to start. It's very slow. Okay, some flashbacks. Making cool. Sure it's gonna get real crazy, I know it. Like he belongs wherever he wants to be. Amazing scene. He wants to go out into the world and do great big things. Not bad, kid. And what I worry about most. I know there's gonna be like a beat drop and then just boom boom boom, a bunch of stuff happening. Look out for you like us. Okay, there's the portal at the end of the first movie. Wanna get out of here? Wherever you go from here, you have to promise to take care of that little boy for me. Oh, sure holy variants everywhere from. already. What the heck? <laughs> and oh, there's Peter. He never doubts that he is loved. And he never lets anyone. Oh, Spider-Man 2099. 2099. I don't know why I said it like that. You gotta promise, Miles. I promise. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, it's like an all-out war. Who do you think you are? Really? Damn. That's a lot of variants. We are supposed to be the good guys. We are. Oof. He is a beast. June 2nd, 2023. I love how they're advertising a PS5 at the end. Of course, Sony would do that. Okay, so not exactly what I was expecting in that trailer. I thought it was going to be a uh, way more intense, like crazy cool trailer. That was very, very toned down, which is fine. It wasn't a bad trailer by any means, but I was just expecting, you know, a lot of stuff to happen. But so far, it was really just Miles and his mom talking and then uh, showing him going into the Spider-Verse. And it looks like there's uh, almost like a war between different Spider-Mans or something. And speaking of those Spider-Mans, it looks like there is a ton of variants in this movie, which we knew that was going to happen. From what I've heard about the movie, it sounds like they're going to be staying in a few different universes for the majority of the movie. But there is an area that's going to be in this movie that just has tons and tons of variants, and I can't wait to explore that world. Oh, I just saw it! Oh my god! So I paused the frame right here, and I can see Insomniac Spider-Man walking uh, along this kind of... Uh, 
bridge kind of thing in that Spider-Man variant world. I just can't wait to slow down the footage and try to find as many variants as I can, and I can't wait for new rock stars and heavy spoilers to break this trailer down because they're obviously going to go like super in depth on this. But what I'm trying to say here is that we're going to be seeing a ton of Spider-Man variants and I can't wait to see that. We got to see Gwen, we got to see Miguel O'Hara's 2099 Spider-Man. I think Miguel is going to be a villain in this movie. It sounded like there was two different types of Spider-Man variants, good and bad. And I'm guessing 2099 Spider-Man thinks he's doing the right thing, but he's probably working with the spot or something along those lines. But damn, this thing looks pretty cool. It's very interesting. You know, we're going to be broadening the Spider-Verse. And I kind of like this trailer because they didn't really spoil any of the story. Like really all I got from that was that Miles is going to go with Gwen into the Spider-Verse and they're going to see a ton of different Spider-Man variants and that's pretty much it. Like, they didn't even show Spot, which I was really shocked that they didn't do that. And I appreciate that, Sony, because, you know, I hate when trailers show you pretty much the entire movie in a two-minute trailer, and I'm glad that they did not do that with this movie. This is a movie that I think is going to have an amazing story, and I just hope that it does not get spoiled until we actually see it in the theaters. I think there's going to be a lot of surprises, a lot of story elements that no one was thinking of. But yeah, overall, I would say that was a pretty solid trailer. I do wish they gave us a little tiny bit more before the first full trailer. I thought it was pretty decent. I'm sure I'm going to appreciate this trailer a lot more once those breakdowns start rolling out on YouTube because there is a lot of variants in that one clip there and I am going to go crazy for some of them I already know. For example, seeing Insomniac Spider-Man in there was fantastic and I can't wait to see if he actually has a major role in the movie or if he's just going to be like in the background walking around or something. Okay, so I'm currently editing the video that you are watching right now and I noticed that I got two of my predictions correct. It looks like there is a spider cop variant in the trailer. I just didn't see it at first glance. And of course Insomniac Spider-Man was in it so I would say pretty solid predictions. I do wish we saw a little bit more of Miguel and the spot. But yeah I'm happy that I got a couple of predictions right and I gotta say those are gonna be some really awesome variants in this movie. Back to the video. But yeah guys I liked the trailer. I didn't love it. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys thought about it. And do you wish they gave us a bit more because I'm in the boat where I like the trailer. I could have loved it if they gave a little tiny bit more in this trailer, but they didn't. I think they're withholding a bit of it until that second trailer or the final trailer. But yeah, guys, let me know down below in the comments. And also, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe. I post Marvel content pretty much daily on the channel, and I will be giving you guys updates regarding this movie, so stay tuned for that. Other than that, guys, I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next video.